Hello, this is Ross Bond Returns, and welcome to the first of hopefully many issues of a Christian Video Playthrough. In Christian Video Playthrough, we'll be talking about uh, the key important parts of Christianity. We're going to talk about um, really all the aspects I can possibly think of, and there are quite a few. Um, in this recording, we'll probably just start with some of the basics. Um, we'll talk about the Bible. We'll talk about God, and we'll we'll uh, we'll get started with that because that's actually quite a lot. Now, for those of you who don't know, there's a difference between religion and Christianity or spirituality, and the difference is that religion is man's way of doing something to earn their salvation. Whereas spirituality or Christianity is Christ's way to reconcile us to God through himself. Now we cannot do anything on our own to warrant uh, salvation. Good works are impossible because of something called sin. And we'll really get into this in a few moments. But first, we have to talk about the Bible. The Bible is God's outreach, his, his revelation, if you will, his entire revelation to man. Long time ago, about 6,000 odd years, a little bit longer now, God created the heavens and the earth created everything out of nothing. He's a god. He can do that kind of awesome stuff. And uh, there's a wonderful garden called Eden. Adam and Eve lived in that garden. They live in communion with the Lord. They lived in a endless seventh day, if you will. And it would have continued to be endless if Sin hadn't entered in by a lovely fellow named Satan, or the devil, who perverted the garden and who conned Eve into eating of the one thing that they weren't supposed to eat of, the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But it was Adam's uh, fault. Adam gets the blame because he ate of the fruit willingly and knowingly. Probably because he uh, didn't want to be apart from Eve. But whatever the case may be, sin came into the world because of Adam's sin. Man is a tri-unity, just like God is. Man has a body and part of God's eternal spirit in him. and. Those two things form the third thing, which is a living soul. Body and a spirit equal a soul. When someone dies, their body returns to the earth, and their spirit returns to Christ for judgment. But their soul ceases to exist because a soul cannot exist without a body. But you got this whole sin issue. Sin is non-negotiable. It's happened. This world is full of it. I had to be blind not to notice it. Of course, because we're born dead in our sins, and aligned with the father of lies, the devil, most of the time we look on sin and we do sin as if there's nothing wrong with it. It's just natural for us. We're born in a broken sinful state separated from God spiritually. However, God doesn't want that to be the case. And uh, that's why he sent his son. That's why we have all of the, these years of history to show that God was reaching out to everyone to try and bring them back to himself. But we have free will. We can choose whether we want to do that or not. Welcome back, this is Ross.
on returns, and this is part two of the Bullets Christian video playthrough. Last time you finished talking about how God created us with free will, and that's one of the reasons why there is sin in the world. A lot of people will come to me, um, and they will ask if I'm a Christian because they notice a difference about me, and they will want to discuss um, stuff like evil and sin. And, and they'll and they'll try and prove that God doesn't can't exist because there's so much sin. But you see, everything was created through Christ Jesus. Everything was created through Him and for Him. All the heavenly realms, all the earthly realms, all the spiritual realm, everything was created for Him and His glory. including humans. He gives humans free will. Why did he give humans free will? He knew that they would sin. He knew everything before anything was even created. Because he's omniscient. The key is that God didn't want to create a bunch of robots who were just folding around because they were programmed to. He wanted us to accept him as our God and Savior, even though we are given the free choice to make our own decisions. He doesn't want a whole bunch of robots going, Lord, I praise you. Lord, I love you. That wouldn't be love. That wouldn't be praise. God created the universe, he created the heavens and the earth. He was he created humankind to be in a loving 24-7-365 relationship with him. And as we talked about last time, that was completely messed up. Back in the Garden of Eden, sin entered the world. This is disastrous. Disastrous. But the good news is, and there is plenty of good news, God made a way for us to get back in union with Him. He wants us to be in union with Him. Uh, had a plan in position before the earth even came into existence. And that plan was not a plan B. It's always been a plan A. And that plan was that at the exact right time God would send his son to be born a human, Christ the Messiah. And Christ the Messiah would live a perfect life under the Jewish law, fulfilling all of the law and the prophets. And he would usher in a new covenant. I need to mention the Old Covenant first. God actually created a nation called the Nation of Israel. Jacob was renamed to Israel after he th literally fought with the Lord for an entire night and wouldn't give up without getting something in return. So he was given a promise that had been given to, to Abraham that he would become a, create a mighty nation. In fact, one of his descendants would eventually end up being the savior of them all. The Israelites were grew to a massive nation. They saved a great many people uh, through Joseph. 
assume is kind of a vice regent um, in charge of second in charge of of all of Egypt during a massive famine. God put uh, Joseph there. Joseph was his man in the field, so to speak. And uh, and the Israelites um, stayed in, in in Egypt for a long time. They became this massive two to three million uh, two three million person uh, group, and they were a threat to the the new pharaoh. So the new pharaoh. Um, subjected them to slavery, to hard work, uh, to the building of of all sorts of things to 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 keep them in check, and yet they continued to grow and grow as a nation. And finally, uh, Moses let them out of Egypt. Moses let them out of Egypt, and they went to Mount Sinai, where they received the Ten Commandments, the Old Covenant.